Hey everyone, it is your boy Blazy here bringing you a brand new video today. So I hope everyone is having a fantastic week so far. We are ripping so many products at the moment. I don't think we've ever made so many videos for YouTube, but we are having an awful lot of fun. And do you know what people, we are going to keep that fun train going today because we've got a really exciting battle video for you all. So if you've been watching the Blazy Collects channel recently, you'll know we've been opening so many tins. I think we've opened like 20 tins over the course of the last two weeks. And today we are opening another 10 tins in what is gonna be an epic video today. That's right, people. We are gonna be opening five tins from the Match Attacks collection and five tins from the Match Attacks Nations League collection as we do a tin battle video to see which gives us the rarest cards and which series will give us the most relic cards in today's video. So we are hoping, people, to get a relic from the 10 tins we're opening today. Will it be a Nations League player relic or will it be a match-worn jersey relic from the Match Tats collection. So we have a really exciting video here. We're opening 10 tins. This is over a hundred pounds worth of tins we're opening in one video as we hunt for those rare relics and rare Chrome Shield cards. So who knows, people, we may get more than one relic in today's video as we bring the hype train well and truly out the station, people. So we are going to waste no time and we are going to get these 10 tins open today. And before I do so, people, if you enjoy today's video, then make sure you smash that like button and do subscribe never to miss a single video from your boy Blazy. We're always doing match attacks content. We open every single soccer product that comes out. So hopefully there is a lot to look forward to people. But for now, sit back, enjoy today's video and let's see if we can get a tin relic card. So here we go, people. We are opening 10 match attacks tins from the standard and nations league collections as we look to see if either will give us a relic card and which is going to come out on top of this mega tin battle that's right people we have got mega tins from that match attacks collection right here and tins from the match attacks nations league collection as well so which one do you guys think is going to come out on top get commenting right now let me know below which tin is going to win the battle today will it be match attacks or the Nations League tins. So to give you an idea on all of these people, I'm just going to flip it around. You'll see that in the Match Attacks Mega Tins, you get 66 cards, including four limited editions, and you can find Relic cards every one in 28 tins. And I believe the Relic cards in this as well, they're player-worn jerseys. You can see they're £13.99, which is really good value for four limited editions and 66 cards, which is really exciting. So for £12.99, we may just get a Relic from one of the Match Attacks tins. And then we have the Nations League tins as well, people. We flip these round. You can see that they are every one in 32 cards. Famous football relic cards can be found. One in 32 tins, uh, which is really exciting. Again, they're £12.99. So both products are exactly the same price. It's £12.99. You get limited edition cards exclusive to each tin, and you also get chances at relic cards. So you'll know people from looking at these two. It's one in 32 for our Nations League tins, and it is one in 28 in our normal match attacks tins. So we do have, I believe, a better chance of getting them from the match attacks tins, which is nice and exciting. So here we go, people. We have got a mega, mega rip coming up. And I think we just need to get started. And I love the match attack standard collection. I think the standard collection is fantastic. So we are just gonna start off by opening a match attacks tin. Here we go, people. We are opening the Wonder Kids Mega Tin. For those of you that haven't opened tins before, you'll know whether you've got a relic card because there's going to be an additional pack. So I'm going to open it like this. We're going to open it on three. Have we got a relic card? Three, two, one. Ah, nothing inside pack one. Nothing inside tin one, people. Like I said, if you've got a relic card, you'll have an additional pack, a little bit like this and it will contain one of those relic cards. So no relic cards inside tin number one. But we are going to do, people, is fly through each tin and pick out those rarest hits so we can decide which mega tin is winning today's value. So if we fly through these ones, people, through the Match Tats collection, you can see we've got ourselves a very nice Crystal Kante. So we're going to put that to one side. Again, flicking through here is good because if we've got an autograph card, we'll notice that we've got one. We have a Chrome Shield, though, people. Are you ready for a Chrome Shield reveal? Are we ready for a Chrome Shield reveal? On three here, people. What is our Chrome Shield from tin number one? Three, two, one. Oh, a very nice Sandro Tenali Chrome Shield from Mega Tin number one. Now, this is a start to the video, people. It's not numbered. It's not a refractor, but it is a Chrome Shield nonetheless. Chrome Shield Tenali kicks off tin number one. And I tell you what, the match tax tins have already taken the lead, people. That is some start. Again, we're just flying through there to make sure there's no autograph cards hiding away. Flying through here as well. It looks like, yeah, doesn't look like we have any autograph cards here, people. Always worth a check. You never know when you least expect them. But yeah, match attacks, 
Tin number one, a chrome shield and crystal hit so far, which is very, very good. What a start this is, people. What a start this is. Imagine you've got two chrome shields inside tin number one. There is another crystal, which is really nice. Uh, just going to fly through here. I think we might even have a black edge here hiding away at the end, uh, which is really, really good. Again, these are all upside down. Let's do a black edge reveal. Three, two, one. Oh, the goat. Lionel Messi, black edge. What a hit, people. Tin number one has bought the heat. No relic cards, but a Lionel Messi black edge, a chrome shield. What a start it has been to this opening. Look at that, people. That is a very, very nice black edge card. Oh, that is special. What a start it is. It's an easy 1-0 at the moment, isn't it? Wow. We are flying, people. Just going to flick these ones around. Make sure we have nothing hiding away in here that shouldn't be in there. That, people, is some start. Wow. Tin number one. No relic cards from the Match Attacks collection, but what a good start it is. God, I nearly went from the wrong side there. Here we go. Time for a Nations League tin, people. Is there going to be a relic card hiding inside tin number one? Three, two, one. Ah, nothing inside tin number one again. We've got a pack of uh, very nice limited edition cards, but it doesn't look like we have a chrome shield. So, or a chrome shield, sorry. It doesn't look like we have a relic card. So, we could still have a chrome shield. We could have a chrome shield in this. What we're looking out for in this, people, is obviously our coloured parallels, our chrome shields, and any uh, Kvercha Sheila, uh, the young um, guy that plays for Napoli. It's his rookie card in this collection, so any of those uh, are good value for money because they are flying for some stupid money on eBay right now. Just going to double check that's not him there. No, no, no. It doesn't look like it's uh, a great start. We have a crystal card here, a very nice crystal Martin Odegaard uh, from our first Nations League tin, and we'll get him on the other side. Uh, flying through there. No chrome shields. No. Oh, a very nice green uh, parallel Jar Felix. Um, but yeah, nothing too special inside number one. Going inside pack number two here, people. Is this one going to bring the heat as we take a look right here? So flying through this tin as well here, people. Doesn't look like we've got ourselves a chrome shield, unfortunately. Just double check in. Just double check in. Oh, nice crystal. Nice crystal. Uh, God, it's Piscina, but it hasn't got the uh, the proper Italy kit because Tops didn't have a license for it this time. We've got a very nice road to the finals Emerald card, which is cool, but no... Oh, a nice purple Pedri. Uh, but nothing too crazy inside that first Match Tax Nations League tin. So, tins down. Two tins down, right, people? After the first two tins, it is an easy win so far for the Match Tax collection. They are definitely out in front. It's going to be those purple separates. We don't get black edges. Uh, you can't get black edge cards inside Nations League, so we're going to do it do it like that. Easy 1-0 at the moment, isn't it, people? Easy 1-0. Match tax tins are killing it already in this battle, but a relic card from either collection could really change the game. Here we go, people. Next tin on three. Three, two, one. Ah, nothing again. Nothing again, people, but we might get another chrome shield. If we get another chrome shield, it is not a bad start to today's video. So... Let's get ripping, people. Let's get ripping. So, next pack, here we go. So, let's take a look and see what we've got. We've already got a Sapphire coming up here. A very nice uh, Sapphire Fabio Vieira. I think it's actually Crystal, but I always call it Sapphire because it looks uh, looks blue to me. A nice Declan Rice that's upside down there. Oh, 100 Club, Thibaut Courtois. Uh, very, very nice. If I took all the time spinning this one round, we'd never get through all the tins, so we're going to have to do it upside down. Uh, a very nice Gascoigne Legend card right there. Um, but nothing too special to finish that one off. So, nothing inside pack number one. Have we got a Chrome Shield or Black Edge hiding inside pack number two? We still have three more match tax tins to open, so plenty more opportunities. So, another Crystal Parallel right there, a Diego Jota, uh, which is very nice, or Jota. Uh, flying through these. Doesn't look like we have an autograph hiding away in here. I said this in the other video. Wouldn't it be insane if we got an autograph from a tin? We're looking for relics, but an autograph would be absolutely unbelievable. So, yeah, tin number two is dead. That was not a good tin for the normal Match Tats collection. So after that one, people, still a little W, I think, for the Match Tats collection. But we still have four Nations League tins to open and three Match Tax tins. So all the time for this one's to change, people, all the time. Are we ready? Ah, tin number four, the second Nations League one. It hasn't happened, people. It hasn't happened. But we didn't get a Chrome Shield in our first Nations League tin, but we may just get one inside our second tin so here we go people what have we got inside the next tin let's take a look here people let's take a look so flying through this one here always nice when the cards are the right way around we like that people we like that what a little dub it is i thought it was these arc there would love a little these arc card 
Uh, doesn't look like we have anything too special. Uh, we've got a nice Sapphire uh, Yarmachuk from Ukraine. Flying through these as well. Nice number six, uh, Jorginho. And a nice purple parallel, Virgil van Dijk. So we'll take the purple. Uh, the Nations League tin is catching up. The tin, the second match tax tin was so dead that we are, you know, it wasn't a good tin for any party. But I think we have a chrome shield in this tin here, people. So we're just going to fly through. We're just going to fly through these ones. Here we go. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Right. It might be a refractor. This could be a refractor, people. There is a Ronaldo chrome shield have we got a refractor chrome shield here on three people three two one oh antoine griezmann although it is the third time i've got an antoine griezmann i can't tell if it's a refractor uh i don't think it is i think it's just a normal one it's got a sheen to it that makes it look like a refractor but we're now one chrome shield each we've hit two chrome shields in today's video and we just got an antoine griezmann again it's not it's got no french kit on there because i haven't got the license but Tops do have the license from Euro 2024, so we're going to get some very, very exciting cards. But we've got a Chrome Shield Griezmann, uh, which is helping level the playing field. Uh, and we then have ourselves a Crystal Odegaard again, funnily enough. Uh, we've got ourselves a Emerald Griezmann, which is nice. Uh, and that sees out that tin. So, so far, people, I think it's still a little match tax W. That black edge is proven to be the difference. But those purple parallels, you know, those purple parallels are starting to stack up. I'm still giving it a little W for the match tax collection so far. But if we get another Chrome Shield from Nations League, I'll be saying the Nations League might just got ahead, people. Especially if it's Ronaldo. It's the only Chrome Shield I'm missing from this year's Nations League collection. Right, next in here, people. Next in here, people. Here we go! <sighs> Nothing. Nothing. Again, no relic card in that one. Come on, people. Keep the faith. Still, plenty more tints to open to get ourselves a relic. So... Let's fly through these packs real quick, see if we have got anything spicy. So, next pack getting opened here, next pack getting opened. Uh, looking for those autos, those sapphire hits. Uh, very nice uh, sapphire right there. Uh, the Skagley, uh, flipping that round. Our heritage is Izark, my boy Izark. Cannot wait to see Newcastle United variants of Izark in match attacks next year when they get Europe. I'm sad we're getting Europe because you've got to be positive. If you don't keep the faith, uh, then what have you got? Oh, Erling Haaland! Black Edge Edition. Harland, Harland. You guys know the song. What a hit. A Black Edge Erling Harland. Wow. Black Edge Harland and Black Edge Messi in one video. Wow, people. Wow, wow, wow. We are flying here. We are cooking with gas, I think it's fair to say here, as we head to the halfway point in today's video. This is tin number five overall. Uh, have we got anything special hiding away inside the next one? We've got a uh, Sapphire Locatelli flying through here as well. Let's keep going, keep going. 100 Club! Unbeatable! Karim Benzema. Very, very nice, that one. Uh, but it doesn't look like we have any Chrome Shields. Uh, we've got nice Eric Cantona, though, right there, people. Nothing too special inside the rest of that tin. So, here we go, people. Third Nations League tin. Another chance at a Relic card. We now definitely have a definitive match tax of winning. If there is a Chrome Shield in here, though, I do think Nations League have picked it. Here we go. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Another tin. Another tin without a relic, people. Surely we're going to get a relic. These will be like the 40th tins we've opened like in the last... No, maybe the 30th. We have opened so many tins recently. Surely there is going to be another relic coming up soon. I've still got that Navas relic from a few weeks ago. But we want another one. We want another one. I don't think there's anything too special in here. I'm keeping my eye out for Kavacha Sheila. I can't see him. We've got a Liam Walker here. Uh, international star. Um, but nothing too crazy. And a purple. Uh, a purple young player to watch Demir. So another purple for it. And another Sapphire card inside that tin. So next one here, people. Is there a Chrome Shield inside this pack? Let's take a look here, people. Let's take a look. So... Uh, fly through this one. I've got Mitrovic and oh, Kavacha Sheila. This is the one. This is the one that everyone is going crazy for. His rookie card. So we are going to take that one out and put that to one side. Uh, that'll be a nice little, uh, look pretty penny on eBay. If we get the Sapphire variant as well, Sapphire variant will be a, a very nice penny. I think that's sixty quid, uh, which is pretty good. We have got a Crystal Jamal Lewis of Newcastle United. Um, we then got ourselves a few more cards. We have got an Emerald Mason Mount right there. Uh, and that is the end of that tin. So nothing too special, but that Kvarcha Sheila 
is very, very nice. So we literally are now two tins away from completing the match tax tins. Here we go, people. This tin feels good. This tin feels heavy. Is there a relic card inside this tin? Three, two, one. <sighs> Nothing again. Nothing again, people. Can you believe it? Our luck. Our luck. Not even our luck. Our luck has been absolutely rotten on the relic front so far, but we still could get a few more chrome shields. Come on, people. We have three more tins to open for today's video. Let's send it, people. Next tin. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We have ourselves a Sapphire Jao Mario um, of Porto. Uh, there we go. We've got another Heritage in there. Flying through these. Doesn't allow me... Oh, that came as a surprise. I did not see that as we were opening. Our second match stats chrome shield It is Nabil Fakir uh, of Real Sociedad. Not a refractor or anything. But hey, another chrome shield. We are taking that dub all the way to the bank, people. Two chrome shields from a match tax tin so far. I didn't feel that as I opened it, which is pretty cool. Uh, and there's nothing too spicy to finish out that tin. So, second pack inside that tin. We got a black edge the first time we got a uh, chrome shield. So maybe there is another black edge in here. So going through here, people, we've got ourselves a Sapphire Mateo Kovacic from Chelsea. Uh, flip this one round. We've got a Smalling 100 Club Mbappe, uh, which is always nice. Here we go, here we go. Flying through him, flying through him. Uh, Vlahovic signature style, very, very nice. Yeah, no autographs in there, people. So, three more tins to go. Match attacks is definitely in the lead so far. The standard collection, two chrome shields, two black edges. I mean, that's going to be very hard to beat. But a relic, like I keep saying, will change the game. Here we go, people. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, no. Still nothing. Still, still nothing. Oh, it's frustrating, people. It's frustrating. Two more tins after this to find a relic. We are getting into the danger zone here, people. We are getting into the danger zone. Next pack of cards. Let's go. Think we have another chrome shield as well. Here we go. Fly through these. Looking for Kavachi Sheila again. Have we got him? Uh, it'd be very nice if we do. Don't want to spoil anything with that hit. Here we go. Chrome shield on three here, people. Three, two, one. Oh, a very nice shit chrome shield i actually have his red variant number to five which is really cool um but this is a nice pascal uh pascal schick so we will take a schick chrome shield so four chrome shields in today's video from eight tins every other tin is showing the odds gareth bay or sapphire right there or crystal whatever you guys want to call it uh, a green frankie de jong uh, and that sees out that pack so here we go We've got a second pack to open from that one as we head down to our final two tins here we go here people flying through the base flying through the base convert your sheila come on we'd like another one to sell doesn't look like we're going to get one in there people so we have ourselves a el Yanusi sapphire which is always nice we have a emerald uh kasper schmeichel and that sees it out with a purple thomas miller so so far people incredibly close we have a lot of very very nice parallel cards right here people but I do think match attacks are just in the lead because of those black edges. I know you can't get them in the Nations League, but they're a very, very nice hit. Uh, and we haven't got any big name. We haven't got any like 101 uh, cards from Nations League. So have we got ourselves a Chrome Shield or a Relic card in our final match attacks tin? Here we go, people. Is it going to happen on today's video? Here we go. We're getting nervous. We're shaking, people. Three, two, one. <sighs> No, 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 not happening today. Uh, but I still do have another 10 or tins left. So we're going to do a mega battle between like five match tax collections. So if you enjoyed this one, people, there is a even bigger one coming. So next pack here, people, next pack flying through these. We've got ourselves a nice Sapphire Crystal Stefan Savage uh, flying through here as well. There's our heritage. Doesn't look like there's an autograph card tucked away in here. Doesn't look like there's an autograph card. Doesn't look like there's a chrome shield either at the moment. Uh, so it's not the start we were looking for. Oh, Black Edge. It's Man City. Have we got another Haaland? Haaland! Here we go, people. Two Black Edge Haalands in one video. Three Black Edges, two Chrome Shields so far from five Match Attack Standard Tins. That is darn good going, if you ask me. What a video, people. What a video. So here we go here, people. Here we go. So we have got 
Um, one more pack to open. We might have a Chrome Shield. I just realized I put my Kavacha Sheila back in the base pile, which is frustrating, but I found him. I found him. I found him. It's okay. We got him. There he is. So, final match attach pack, people. Please, one more Chrome Shield would be some way to see out this video uh, from this perspective. So, base, base, base. Uh, we got ourselves a nice uh, Crystal Rodrigo. Flying through here, people. Heritage, Kulusevsky. Uh, we've got an 100 Club, Mo Salah. Uh, of Liverpool, not having the best season, bless him, is he at Liverpool? Flying through here, doesn't look like there's anything special. Yeah, nothing too special to see out match attacks tins, which means Nations League has it all to do. One more Chrome Shield and Nations League has won this video. The only way Nations League is going to win this video is if there is a Chrome Shield or Relic card inside this tin. Can it win today's video? Three, two, one. Oh, no relic card. Uh, I didn't sound as disappointed as you thought I would right there, but I'm not the biggest fan of the relic cards from the Nations League. So it's not the worst result. I'd rather play a warm memorabilia than one of those little uh, little icons. So here we go. Is there a Chrome Shield to win them the video inside this pack? Here we go here, people. Going through all that base. All of that base right there. All of that base. It doesn't look like there's a Chrome Shield inside this pack. Ooh. No, that was a Rochelle Ronaldo. That was going to be so but no, uh, we've got a nice Sapphire Jekko, uh, Crystal Jekko, going on the wrong pile now. Uh, we then have ourselves, Goosu! Cristiano Ronaldo, number two. Look at that right there. Very nice card. Uh, and a purple Gavi. I'll tell you what, this is tight. Gavi is a fantastic purple hit. Can we do it inside the final pack? Is there a Chrome Shield that is going to win this for the Nations League tins? So... Here we go here, people. Flying through this tin. Flying through this tin. Here we go. Is it going to happen? Oh, we got a crystal Aaron Ramsey right here. There is not many cards to go here, people. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? It doesn't look likely. Emerald Matthias Delict. No. No, we did not get a chrome shield inside this last tin. Frustrating, people. Frustrating. No relic cards from another 10 tins, but... We have got some nice hits. So we're going to take 30 seconds, summarize today's video, and I want you to let me know which tin you think won today's battle. So, people, it was some battle today. And I tell you what, even though there was no Black Ages inside the Nations League, I think this video was really, really close when it came to pools. When we take a look at it, people, if we go through the match tax collection, we got plenty of Sapphire Crystal Parallels. No one to really write home about in terms of big name players, but we did get. Erling Haaland twice, two Erling Haaland black edges, a little messy goat black edge, and two chrome shields for Keir and Tenali. So overall, I think we did very, very well from those match attacks tins. To get Haaland and Messi is absolutely unbelievable. And when we take a look uh, at the Nations League, we got so many parallels, so many from the Sapphires and the Emeralds. Look at that. They were galore, weren't they? So many of them in there. We got a very nice purple Gavi. A couple of nice purple cards, but nothing too crazy. And then two Chrome Seals, Schick and Antoine Griezmann. So we leveled out when it came to Chrome Shields. Um, but overall, for me, I'm just going to move everything across the hate it being off centre. Uh, and again, we still not quite got it there. There we go. I think... I've got to give the dub to the match tax collection. I think to get Haaland and Lionel Messi inside your mega tins is a huge, huge dub. If we've got one more Chrome Shield, I would have been saying, hey, Nations League has got this one. But for no relics, for equal Chrome Shields, I think the Black Edges have pushed it for match tax's favour. So the winner of today's back battle is the match attack standard collection. It has beaten the Nations League. Uh, uh, but I think it was a lot tighter than we realised. So, people, let me know in the comments which Megatin collections do you think won today's video? And are you excited to see me open a number of Megatins from all the different collections to see who the ultimate match attack winner is? So, let me know in the comments, people. And ultimately, if you enjoyed today's video, then do smash that like button. Like I said, comment and let me know your thoughts. And do subscribe never to miss a single video from your boy, Blazy. But for now, people, have a fantastic evening. And I'll catch you soon for the next video.